What is going on YouTube? It's your girl Yoga by Viola here with a new, new, new YouTube video. It has been a hot minute since I've been on YouTube. I've gotten so many wonderful comments on our past videos. Let me just update you on what I've been doing because you know I've been gone, you know. We're all quarantining right now. I live in Seattle, so COVID has hit us hard. I've been stuck at home, and in that, I've really been really re-inspired to get back to filming. I've naturally been filming for the Trap Vinyasa community, been doing a lot of online streaming videos to continue to deliver classes while being outside of this traditional studio. I have really missed filming. I've just been so busy growing the Trap Vinyasa business and community with our instructors and our you know community members. My practice has actually dwindled a lot. My traditional yoga practice has dwindled. I haven't had the opportunity to practice as much. And so it's really important to carve out this time on my mat because not only am I delivering this content to you, but I'm also creating the space for me to practice as well. Today is a balancing sequence that really focuses on stabilizing through the core, but also lengthening through the hips and the hamstrings and the psoas, which are where I tend to feel most tight. It's usually right in around here, around your root chakra through the hips. And I know that with everything that's happening, we're doing a lot of sitting, a lot of just kind of lounging around the house. So the hips are going to be the first area that tends to feel it. So getting into some balancing and some opening as well is going to kind of help release that. You know, with COVID and COVID-19 happening, in this very tumultuous time that's happening in the world, which I think is very, very much a spiritual and energetic shift that's actually coming to edify humanity. What I'm really continuing to come back to is this idea that I'm not going to subscribe to what doesn't serve me. I don't feel fear with what is happening. I do feel a little anxious, but not fear. And I don't want to choose to take on that fear. So really choosing what to subscribe to and choosing not to subscribe to what does not serve you, knowing that you have the choice and really beginning to exercise the ability and the divine right you have as a living soul first, having a human experience second, to exercise choice. So you won't need any props or anything through this practice. I just tend to always have one yoga block with me. So if you do have a yoga block on hand, you can go ahead and grab it, but you won't need it. And we'll go ahead and get started, and I'll see you in a hot second right here on the mat. Welcome back, everyone. We're starting here on our mats in a tabletop position. We're just not going to actually start in a child's pose, Velasana. With the hips to the heels, arms extended. A few options here if you'd like. If you get dizzy or you don't really like inversions where your head is underneath your body, you can drop the forearms here, kind of like an I dream of genie pose, and the forearms or the forehead can come to rest on the forearms. Traditional Velasana child's pose would be with the arms extended, third eye coming to rest here. Relaxing. This is where I'm going to actually start today because I want to open up through my side body ribs and underneath my armpits. So we're going to start here with a few rounds of breath. Extending the tailbone down, lengthening through the spine. Take a deep inhale in through the nostrils. Exhale out of the mouth, H A. Two more of those deep inhale in through the nostrils. Exhale out of the mouth, H-A. Deep inhale in through the nostrils. Exhale out of the mouth, H-A. Let's go ahead and draw the lips together. Find an audible exhalation out of the nostrils. Lengthening that audible exhalation, it's called Ujjayi Pranayama. 
translate best by victorious breath and just finding that audible exhalation. And as you do, feel your tailbone extend back as your arms extend forward. So feel that dynamic pull and push of the body pulling apart almost. Opening up through the shoulders, through the back of the heart, through the hips here, and opening the knees wide so that the belly can fall through the knees and the chest if you're a little bit curvier. Just creating some space for all those lovely lady curves or man curves or cis curves or non-binary curves. Just creating space for the body to fall through the thighs. Rooting the palms here, a few more rounds of breath and we're going to start to add movement to the breath and to the shape. Continuing to arrive here. Notice what you're feeling. So feel the texture of the mat underneath the hands. Feel the texture of the mat underneath the feet. Notice how you're arriving in terms of the temperature of the body. And drawing our awareness towards our breath. And continuing to identify with the breath. And on the inhale, let's ripple it up and find our cow pose. Shine the tailbone up. Heart up, draw the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, we come straight back to our child's pose. Hips to the heels, arms extend. A few more of those. Inhale, we're going to ripple it up. Cow pose, tailbone extends. Belly butt drops down. Heart and head lifts. Cow pose, exhale, curl the tailbone under. Find your child's pose. A few more of those. Inhale, ripple up. Cow pose, heart up, tailbone up. Exhale, child's pose. Curl the tailbone in. Two more, inhale. Cow pose, heart shines up, tailbone lifts. Exhale, curl it under. One more, inhale, ripple it up. Cow pose, heart lifts, tailbone lifts. Exhale, curl it under. Child's pose, inhale. We ripple it up, tabletop, and hold in our tabletop. Exhale, root through the five fingers. Tuck the toes underneath the feet. Hover the knees off of the mat. We're holding here three rounds of breath. I want you to feel yourself push the earth away with your hands. And notice what happens to your low belly. Lifting the low belly up. Back of the heart expands and the ribs start to draw together, the low ribs. Two to one more rounds of breath here. So we're continuing to hold. Stay with me. Notice how I like to find a little bit of a pulse. Just helps me ease into the movement. One more round of breath. Inhale, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Heels come to the mat and hips come high. Let's start to pedal out the knees one by one. Five fingers wide, opening up through the chest. Hips pressing back. Continuing to pedal off the knees, especially if you have tight calves like me. Do a lot of weight training, so my calves tend to feel the brunt of it. If you have bigger calves and they are tense and tight all the time, just go ahead and pedal out the legs. Make sure your feet are about mat with mat width distance apart. Notice that you don't have to um, draw the heels to the earth. Just over time, as there's more space through the backside body. That'll happen over time. Inhale, let's ripple it forward, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Two more of those ripple it forward, high plank, just like we did in our cow variation. Exhale, down dog. One more, inhale, ripple it forward, high plank. Exhale, down dog, settling in here. Inhale, our right heel is going to come high to the heavens. Exhale, knee towards the nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Woo. Exhale, knee in towards the nose. Hold. Drop the knee down to the mat. Hover it above the earth. Inhale, push it in. Three-legged dog. 
Exhale, gently lunge, step that leg through lightly, use your belly, drop your left knee to the mat, interlace the hands onto your right knee, and holding here. So we're going to feel ourselves push the hands into the knee. Notice what's happening to my torso, I'm going to shift my weight forward. I'm going to come really heavy onto my right foot. I'm going to tuck my back left toe. Push my hands into my knee and then begin to pluck my left knee up. Push the weight into my knee. Exhale, left knee comes to kiss the mat. Two more of those. Inhale, lift and rise. Shift the weight to the right foot. Exhale, lower the left. One more. Inhale, push the weight to the right thigh. Lift. Exhale, left knee comes to the earth. Untuck the back left toe, hands come high. Now my shoulders are stacked right over my hips. Inhale, my left hand comes high, right hand comes back, open face twist, continuing to hold. Now if you have tightness in the shoulders, you can always cactus that back arm. One more round of breath. Inhale, both hands come high. My right hand is gonna grab a hold of my left wrist and I'm gonna lean to the right, opening up through my left side body. I'm gonna feel this along my entire left side oblique and in my psoas as I continue to draw my hips forward to get into the front of my hips. One more round of breath. Exhale, I'm going to lower my hands to frame my right foot. I'm going to tuck my back left toe, left knee rises. Notice I'm going to shift the weight really forward into that right foot. Step it forward, vertical splits, left heel comes high. And my forehead is coming towards my knee. I'm going to turn my left hip down. Ooh, my feet are ashy, y'all. It's all good. I got a nice little view of my ashy feet. Keep extending that left heel high, forehead towards the knee. And then exhale, forward fold. My left foot comes to meet its sibling. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to the shins. Cow variation, so I'm extending my heart just like I did in my cow, tailbone lifted. Belly down, exhale, fold. Inhale, my micro bend my knees. So I sweep my hands up and over. Exhale, Anjali Bhujra, hands come to heart center prayer variation. Holding here. Chair pose, Ukatasana. I'm going to come to sit. The weight is in my heels, my toes are light, my hands are still at heart center to start. Then I'm going to extend my arms forward as if I'm pushing the earth away just like I did when I had my hands rooted into the earth and my knees were hovering. So I'm extending my arms forward, the back of my heart is expanded, and I'm continuing to push my hands forward. Feel that lengthening through the back side of the chest. Sit one inch deeper as you draw the tailbone in, continue to hold here. One more round of breath. Exhale, root the hands into the knees, into the thighs rather. Push the hands into the knees. Notice how the low ribs knit in here. That's that dynamic lift you want to continue to find when we go into our balancing posture. Heavy in the heart, light in the lower body. Then inhale, hands come high. Exhale, they cross the arms, swim those hands straight back. Inhale, hands lift. Exhale, sweep the hands straight back. Inhale, this time come to stand. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold, give honor. Lowering the hands here. Step the right leg back, left leg back. High plank. Option to drop the knees. Shift the hips forward, modify Chaturanga, or shift the heels forward. Exhale, lower onto the belly like an elevator. Inhale, cobra lifting the heart. Exhale, chin kisses the mat. Inhale, tabletop. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale here through the nostrils. Exhale out of the mouth, H-A. Inhale, left heel comes high. Exhale, knee to the nose, shift it forward. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left leg comes high to the heavens. Exhale, knee to the nose, shift it forward. This time, hold 
Hover the knee down above the mat. Inhale, draw it back into the belly. And three-legged dog. Exhale, feel that engagement. Knee to the nose again. Gently step it through. Drop the right knee to the mat. And interlace the hands onto your left knee again. So not directly on the knee, but more on the thigh. Just, just the, for stability. Interlace the hands onto the knee. And remember how I had you pushed your hands into your knees in that chair pose. Find that here. So push the hands into the knees. Notice how the heart lifts and the low ribs knit in. Just paying really close attention to that engagement. You're going to shift the heart forward. I have about 80% of the way that's coming into my right, or excuse me, my left foot. I'm going to tuck my back right toe. My right knee rises. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right knee comes to kiss the mat. I'm feeling this in my whole psoas. And I'm finding that balancing stability. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. One more inhale, lift. Exhale, lower the back right knee. Inhale, hands come high. Anjumayasana, low lunge. My body shifts back forward or back, so my hands are stacked over my hips. My right hand comes forward, my left hand comes back, open face twist. Once again, option to cactus that back arm if you need to. Continuing to hold. Inhale, both hands come high. Exhale. My left hand grabs a hold of my right wrist and I lean to the left as I shift my hips forward. I'm going to feel this almost lengthening opening in my right side body. Continue to hold. One more round of breath. Exhale, come back to center. Let's lower the hands down to frame that left foot. Tuck the back right toe, right knee rises. Shift the weight to the left foot. Vertical split, right heel comes high. Feeling this in the back side of my hamstring here. Trying to keep my right hip bone turned down as I lift my right heel high. One more round of breath. Forward fold, right foot comes to meet its sibling. I'm going to relax the head and neck down. Inhale, hands to my shins, halfway lift. Extend the heart like a cow variation. Exhale, forward fold, my head comes in towards my groin. No holding, no holding, y'all. Release the head and neck. Inhale, micro bend the knees, circle sweep the hands up to the heavens. Exhale, Anjaneyasana, the hands come to heart center. And Tadasana, hands alongside the body, holding here. Inhale, Ukatasana, fierce pose, come to sit, hands at heart center. Tailbone drawn down, belly button up and in. Then arms, open face. And extend hands forward, back of the heart. All through the back of the heart is opening. It's like you're pushing your hands into something. There's an imaginary wall here and you're pushing it away. Come to sit into the hips. Lift through the low belly and hold. One more round of breath. Hands come onto the knees and push. The hands into the thighs, low belly lifts, low ribs knit in, and then hands come high to your pelvis. Exhale, the kasana arms sweep the hands back. Inhale, chair pose, hands come high, you're still sitting in your chair. Exhale, sweep the hands back. Inhale, come to stand. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now remember, five fingers were just pushing in that chair variation. Roof the hands here like you're finding that same thing. You're bending the knees. Option to step the left leg back, right leg back, high plank. Or you're going to find a soft, 
hop back, chaturanga, lifting through the heart. Find what feels good, stepping back if you need to. So I'm going to show you another variation here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Option, step or hop back. High plank. Inhale, option to drop the knees. Modify chaturanga. Lowering onto the belly from here or shift the heels forward. Exhale, lower onto the belly. Inhale, cobra, just lifting the heart. Option for up dog, lifting the heart, belly, chest, and hips. Exhale, flip the toes. Down dog. Three rounds of breath here. Inhale for one. Exhale out of the mouth, H A. Inhale for two. Exhale out of the mouth, H A. Silent Ujjayi, inhale for three. Silent Ujjayi, exhale for three. Inhale, right heel is going to come high to the heavens. Exhale, knee to the nose, shift it forward. Drop the knee, hover it above the earth. Inhale, draw the knee back to the belly. Three-legged dog, right heel comes high. Exhale, gently lunge, step it through. And slowly interlace the hands onto the quad, onto the thigh. Now notice here. I'm shifting my weight forward. My heart is coming forward to a slant like I was on my knee. As I do so, the back of my left foot, my toe, my heel lifts up and I'm on the ball of my toe. I can just step my left leg forward, push my hands into my thigh, step it forward. This is going to help strengthen your glute and the knees. Exhale, lunge, step it back. So that small step, that's all balance and stability. Two more. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, step that left leg forward. Lunge, step it back. One more. Inhale, shift forward and step the foot forward. Exhale, lunge, step it back. Push the hands into the thigh, lift the heart, high lunge. Both hands come high. Shift the left hand forward, right hand back, open it up. Just like we did on the knee. Inhale, drop the left heel, windmill it open, warrior two. Flip the palms to the heaven, energizing warrior two, lengthen out the right knee. Hands come high, star pose. Exhale, bring it back to warrior two, palms facing down. Inhale, exalt. Right hand comes high, left hand to the back of the thigh. Go for length on the left, so on the right side. Exhale, pour the hands down. To frame the right foot, pivot on the ball of the back left toe. Step the right leg back, high plank. Option to drop the knees or shift heels forward. Exhale, lower arms to the belly. Inhale, cobra. Option, front dog. Exhale, flip the toes. Down dog. Opposite side. Inhale, left heel comes high. Exhale, knee to the nose, shift forward. Hover the knee above the mat. Inhale, drop back to the belly, three-legged dog. Exhale, gently step that left leg through, lunge. Interlace the hands onto the left knee this time. Shift the heart forward to come high on the ball of that back, right toe. And step it forward, tap the toe. Lunge, extend it back. Step it forward, tap the toe. Lunge, extend it back. Step it forward, tap the toe. Lunge, extend it back. Push your hands into the thighs, lift the heart high. Lunge. Right hand comes forward, left hand comes back. Open face twist. Inhale, open it up. Warrior 
two. Heel to heel, or heel to inside of foot in terms of feet placement. Bending deeply into the left knee, or as much as you can comfortably. We'll slowly exalt our warrior right hand back of the thigh, left hand comes high, go for length in the left side body. Exhale, we kneel the hands down to frame the left foot, lunge, step that left leg back, high plank, option to drop the knees, or inhale, shift forward, exhale, lower onto the belly, inhale, cobra, lifting the heart and the head, option for up dog, lifting the heart, head, chest and belly and thighs. Exhale, drop the knees. Child's pose. Arms extend. Open the knees wide. Let the belly and the chest fall through. Resting here. Two more rounds of breath. Inhale, tabletop. Let's draw the knees back in. Tuck the toes underneath the feet. Lift the hips high. Downward facing dog. Right heel comes high. Don't hit your chair behind you. Exhale, gently lunge, step it through with control. Notice how lightly I step my right foot forward because I'm using my belly instead of momentum. So I want you to use your engagement of your tummy instead of momentum to step that leg forward. And if you step it forward and the heel travels behind the knee, just grab the heel, step it forward. So aid the body in grace. And release the hands onto the right knee. And we're going to push the hands into the thigh. Shift forward, come high on the ball of the left foot. I'm going to lift my left foot up. I'm going to push my hands into my thigh. I'm going to dorsiflex my left foot and lift my heart. Knit the low ribs in just like you did in that chair pose variation. Then from here, hands come to heart center, warrior three, or they come forward. Two rounds of breath here, inhale for one. And exhale. Inhale for two, lift that chest. And exhale. Slowly lunge, step the left leg back, hands come high. Woo, high lunge. Exhale, lower the hands down. Step the right leg back, high plank. Skip the vinyasa or shift forward. Exhale, lower arms to the belly. Inhale, cobra, lifting the heart. Option for up dog. Exhale. Down dog. Opposite side. Left heel comes high. Exhale. Gently lunge, step it through light. Interlace the hands onto the thigh. Push the hands into the thigh. Shift the heart forward. Come high onto the ball of the back. Right toe. Dorsiflex the foot. Begin to float the right heel up. Warrior three variation. Push the hands into the thigh. And lift these low ribs up and in. Keep pushing the hand into the thigh. And then option to draw the hands to heart center or hands extend warrior three, two rounds of breath, inhale for one. And exhale. Inhale for two. Exhale, lunge. High lunge, hands come high. Exhale, let's lower the hands to frame that left foot. Step it back, high plank. Option to drop the knees or shift the heels forward. Lower onto the belly. Inhale, cobra. Option for up dog. 
Exhale, drop the knees. Child's pose. Opening your knees wide. If you want more room for the belly, chest to fall through. Arms extended. Two rounds of rest. Final round of rest. Tabletop. Let's just find some rolling cat cows through the hips, through the belly, through the low back, through the head and the neck. Neutralize the body. Just find what feels good. You can roll up those wrists. And let's come back. Tabletop. Shift. Hands to the right. Hips to the right. Or actually your right, my left and glide the legs forward. I am sweating, I am a sweater, and I'm okay with that. You might be sweating as well. We're gonna go ahead and draw the right foot on the inside of the left leg, and interlace the hands behind the left thigh. I'm gonna shift my heart back, extend my heel forward, dorsiflex my heel, my right hand's gonna come high, I'm going to grab the outside blade of my left foot or my ankle. Great opportunity to grab a strap here if you can't grab the outside blade of the foot. My left hand is going to come behind me. I'm going to make sure my spine is nice and tall. And I'm going to take my foot over to the right to get into my IT band. As I do so, I'm going to internally rotate or externally rotate my foot out, the pinky toe edge of my foot out and the big toe edge in. I'm going to feel this on the outside of my shin. I'm going to be here for a few rounds of breath. If you have really tight IT bands, this is your stretch. Enjoy. Let's keep finding our breath. Don't stop breathing with me. Slowly release and extend both legs, take it to the opposite side. So this time my left foot's going to kiss the inside of my right. I'm going to interlace the hands behind my thigh and lift my heart and bend through the knee. I'm going to have a nice long spine here, engaging through my belly, not through my shoulders. So I'm relaxing my shoulders down, but my belly, my low belly is lifted. I'm going to extend my right heel forward, dorsiflex my foot, carry my hands to my calf if I can, or to my ankle, extend my left arm and grab the outside blade of my right foot or the outside blade of my shin, or I'm going to use a strap to bind the foot. My right hand's going to come back behind me and I'm going to take my right foot to the left side of the room. Find that external rotation by turning the big toe edge and the pinky toe edge out. Now it's okay if you have a bend in the knee. We want to more so focus on keeping the spine long. If we have a bend in the knee, it's just letting us know our hamstrings are a little taut. And that's fine. And continuing to hold here. Two more rounds of breath. Final round of breath. Slowly release. 
Spin the legs out. Shake them out. Shake out the hips. Let's bend the knees. Extend the palms forward. And let's begin to go back. More back. More back. More back until the back of the heart kisses the mat. So as we get there, let's hug the knees in and rock left and right. Let's root the feet into the mat and draw the right foot onto the left knee or thread the needle. Right hand is going to thread right through the thighs and clasp behind the left thigh. And the left hand is going to clasp behind the left thigh. So opening up through the outer right hip. Sometimes I actually like to grab the front of the knee. It's a little bit more active of a stretch in my outer right hip for me. And you can find that. Two to three rounds of breath here, although you can stay much longer if you're feeling you need more time here. You can stay longer in any pose you want more exploration in. Just find what feels good for you, where your curiosity leads you in the practice. Find what serves you, subscribe to what serves you, as we discussed. One more round of breath here. We're going to root the left foot, switch sides. So let's slide our left foot onto the right knee, thread the left arm through the legs, clasp behind the right thigh or the front of the knee if you want more exploration with myself. Three rounds of breath here. Final round of breath. Slowly root the right foot. Release the left. Extend the heels to the heavens. Hands to the heavens. Roll out the ankles. Roll out the wrist. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. Float the hands down. Heels down. Shavasana, final resting posture. Feel free to close the eyes. You can keep them open if it makes you feel safer in this space. Option to draw the bottoms of the feet together, or you can keep the legs extended, or you can bend the knees. Find what feels good for your low back and your hips. I'm going to come to Sutta Baddha Konasana. That feels comforting for me right now. Come into our meditation. Continuing to align with the breath and not try so much to align with the thoughts, although there is such a thing as thinking meditation, so if thoughts are coming, it's not the goal to push them away, but more so allow them to have their, their space as you focus more on the breath if you're wanting to calm the thoughts down. If you're wanting to explore a specific thought or specific meaning, you can ask yourself to focus on one thought and kind of allow yourself to be guided down the rabbit hole of that thought. Many forms of meditation. But it's not a to-do list. It's just an opportunity to really do nothing. And to align with the frequency of everything around you. 
which is everything and nothing at the same time. So. Uniting with the universal breath. Slowly begin to wiggle the toes and fingers. Inviting gentle movement back into the body as you draw the arms up and over the head. Take a deep breath into the belly and the chest. Rolling to the left or the right side into a fetal position. As you come into a seated position of your choice, cross-legged or varasana, thunderbolt. I invite you to close your practice with whatever hand mudra feels intuitive to you and showcases gratitude for our practice. Traditionally, palms are drawn together at heart center, a little space in between the palms. Although if you're familiar with mudras, I invite you to come to the mudra that aligns with you in this moment. Take a deep inhalation in through the nostrils. Exhale out of the nostrils, H-A, or out of the mouth, H-A. Take a deep inhale in through the nostrils. Exhale out of the mouth, H-A. Will each repeat one time, I've done my best. I leave the rest. Namaste. Thank you, YouTube family. Don't forget to follow your girl on Instagram at Yoga by Biala. If you're not a part of the Trap Vinyasa Yoga community, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Trap Vinyasa and visit us at www.trapvinyasa.com. Go ahead and comment below on um, how this video helped you to find stabilization and balance and what it kind of felt like for you. Go ahead and let me know below in the comments. I'll talk to you all soon. Have a beautiful day.